Oh, well, hello again. Always something interesting going on on my little, uh, I guess you call it a makeshift workbench, since I got kicked out of my office. I want the computer up and running again. I kind of had to move my bench out here on a card table, so it doesn't take too much to get it filled up. I've got the RCA 210 sitting there chassis. I've been doing some testing on that and figuring out what needs replaced and what's good to go. My multimeter equipment's here. <laughs> I got a tore down uh, rim drive international reel to reel here. I took apart the other night. Um, this one needs recapped. The audio part needs recapped. Nothing major. It's got very few capacitors. You know, one big 100 microfarad at 10 volt. A couple little small microfarad at 10 volts down in here. That's all the audio board. The uh, drive mechanism is this motor right here in the back, you probably can't see it very well, let me turn it around, right here, and we have a little point, uh, let's see what this thing was, point zero five, uh, picofarad ceramic disc capacitor right here, and it's, uh, it's wide open. Um, you put battery power to it, it won't do a dang thing. And you have power up here and here, but nothing through that capacitor, so it needs replaced. Um, you do have audio because you put this. This is kind of funky. It runs nine volts for the audio, and it runs two C cell flashlight batteries for the mechanism part. You put the nine volt to it, you do have a. Uh, you have power because you hear crackling in the uh, audio circuit when you turn the volume knob up and down. So I know that part's fine. Uh, I'm just going to recap it while I have it open just to make sure. Here's the bottom part of the case for it. Just a cheap little rim drive player from the 70s. I think um, I looked in the date code right here on this one capacitor. It says 1971, one of 71, so uh, January 1971. Some of the rims for it right here. Here's the reel for it. I uh, said so that one says International. Also, I have a little DC power supply I use for a lot of my little transistor radios and doing some just general low voltage testing. I use this a lot around here. And I noticed the other day when I had something hooked up to it, it just didn't seem to operate quite, quite right. And I thought, well, you know, that seems like it's under-voltaged. And um, I bumped it up to the next notch, which was more than what it needed, and it operated fine. So that left me to dig out my multimeter, set it to the 20-volt DC range. Let's bring this over so we can get a look at it. Now, I'm going to give this 3 volts, and we're going to see what the multimeter reads. 3 volts DC output on my adapter, I'm reading 5.31 volt. 4.5 volts. I'm reading 7.30 volts. 6 volts on the adapter. Reads 9.31 volts. 7.5 volts. We make a heck of a difference there. We're up to 11.55 volts. 9 volts. Reads 13 point eight, about 13.9 volts off of the 9 volt setting on this adapter. And if you bump it all the way up to 12, you get a whole whopping, what does that say on there? 19.04 volts out of 12 volts on this adapter. So something's screwed up somewhere in that thing. And I don't think that it stays high until you apply a load to it to draw it down. I don't think that's what that does. It don't change at all. I haven't had anything hooked up to it to uh, to confirm that. But those voltages are very high in that adapter. I mean, this was just some little cheap universal AC-DC adapter. It's made God knows where. Oh, go figure. China. <laughs> yeah, heaven forbid we built something here in the States. It'd be worth a damn. So, if you ever come across one of these, pay close attention to your voltage. You might want to test it before you hook it up to something that's very sensitive to uh, a voltage spike, a voltage drop, a uh, voltage polarity. Um, the separation on voltage polarity on this ain't a whole lot either. It's a couple couple milliamp. I think this thing draws 500 milliamp is what it draws. And uh, 
that's not a very good performer. You know, I'm kind of shocked from what I see here. So if you ever, uh, if you ever come across something like that, just keep that in mind that um, just because it's set to six volt doesn't mean it's putting out six volt. So comments are welcome. Keep coming back. Thanks for watching.